good morning everyone it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this 10 uh, day ist workshop uh, it's unique because uh, we are doing it over five weekends so that uh, everybody can uh, uh, manage to attend it at their own uh, convenience i have uh, with us here uh, the faculty members who are going to be conducting the course and also uh, professor fatak who is the project coordinator for the entire project of uh, teach a thousand teachers i will uh, introduce uh, you to professor madhu belur uh, would you take the, your seat please madhu belur is from uh, electrical engineering department and professor prabhu ramchandran department of aerospace iit bombay and uh, professor db fatak department of computer science he is the as i said the project coordinator for the project and uh, now i request uh, professor fatak to introduce the project and also uh, give the welcoming uh, remarks thank you good morning all of you and welcome to this workshop under the project of empowerment of teachers across the country some of you might have already participated in few of our earlier workshops but many would not have so i would take this opportunity to briefly introduce the objective of this entire project as you know all of us are concerned about having an adequate quality in our professional education when the number of institutions are increasing the number of students are increasing in these institutions but corresponding increase in the faculty strength both quantitatively and qualitatively has not come about primarily because we do not have adequate facilities for people to pursue their phd's in required numbers and therefore many of our faculty colleagues have not been able to pursue their phd's many join the teaching program try to do some research and some learning while they are teaching and under these circumstances it becomes important that at the national level we undertake programs which will empower these teachers to perform their duties better traditionally the mechanism of such empowerment has been conduct of ist or qip uh, workshops or ugc workshops of two weeks duration where in about 30 35 faculty members would assemble at a particular place and the workshop would be conducted by some expert faculty it's an extremely effective tool as was agreed to by all the participants in such workshops over last two decades however it is not possible to scale up this model and given that we have now lakhs of teachers all across the country wanting to participate in such endeavors it was necessary to enhance the scale of these efforts at iit bombay we had been conducting these distance education using information and communication technology since the year 2000 we thought that we could utilize this technology to try and collect a much larger number of participants assembled at different places but where the lectures are conducted from one place in iit bombay and the afternoon tutorials and labs are conducted at the remote places which are selected for the teachers to physically participate we tried this model and we are thankful to government of india which under the mhrd's national mission project on education through ict approved the conduct of such workshops through a mixed mode of remote lecturing and uh physical interaction during tutorials and labs needless to say in order to have cohesiveness and commonality of the entire workshop conduct we actually carry out a one week program for all the coordinators from selected remote centers who come here physically to iit bombay they discuss with the faculty members who are going to conduct that workshop as to what should be the syllabus what should be the modus operandi of conducting labs and tutorials and it is upon this agreed common syllabus sort of that the workshop is then planned and prepared for 
subsequently when the workshop is conducted teachers and our ambition is that every workshop should have 1000 teachers uh, so that the benefit really scales up significantly they assemble at these 20 30 40 remote centers and that is how the workshop is conducted so to all the participants i would like to say that a uh, great effort has been spent by the coordinators at the remote centers where you are physically attending by their own colleagues who will work as teaching assistants and technical assistants to them while they conduct the labs and tutorial sessions as also by the faculty members and a large team here at iit bombay for preparing the course material and deciding on the kind of tutorial and lab problems that would be done as should be usual in any academic endeavor of this kind we generally insist that there should be some evaluation in order to primarily get a feedback to participating teachers themselves and also to the coordinators and others as to what has been the effectiveness of this course and this particular course also i believe will have its own components of quizzes and tests and assignments naturally this is important because we expect the participating teachers to go back and when they conduct a course based on this kind of contents they should be ready to set questions quizzes tests of similar nature from the past experience where we already conducted several such workshops we are indeed glad to report that the workshops have been a great success the main difference between all those previous workshops and this workshop is that previously we used to conduct these workshops for 10 consecutive days or two weeks at a particular remote center there was one problem with such workshops namely that people had to stay away from their place of work or place of stay for as much as two weeks which was perhaps not very comfortable to many teachers the second problem was that we could not conduct many such workshops because such 10 day periods had to be found during the common vacation period that teachers had and which was limited to perhaps about a month and a half in summer and about 20 days in winter to overcome this we were thinking of conducting such programs over multiple weekends obviously people would have to travel from their place of stay to attend these workshops every weekend but we figured that if we have sufficient remote centers and if there are large number of teachers in and around those remote center cities then it should be possible for them without jeopardizing their long term commitments during the working days they could perhaps come and participate during the weekends i am very glad to note that thanks to your very encouraging support this workshop participation has touched uh, about 900 people 864 is a very large number given the special and peculiar nature of this workshop which runs over several weekends with the fifth weekend being the buffer weekend i would only say that there are two things i would like the colleague participating teachers to take back with them when they finish this course one that all of us have to be completely committed to continuously enhance the quality of education that we offer to our students second that the iit system the nits of this country and a few well known institutions across the nation who have perhaps evolved their own pedagogy their own methodology their own approach to teaching their own approach to challenging students with hard problems all of this needs to be spread across the country it is nothing difficult after all if some human beings in some institutions can try then all other human beings in all other institutions can also be able to try it is our endeavor as an important objective of these workshops to try and convey to all of you the ethos that prevails in these institutions and request you to try and imbibe that ethos if you find it useful simultaneously we also hope to learn from you it is a no brainer that when 800 or 1000 teachers assemble from across the country there would be several amongst them who would have done great things themselves in terms of developing 
teaching methodologies or in terms of mechanisms of giving examples, setting problems, etc., etc. Needless to say, we hope to benefit from such expertise because this expertise is based on individual efforts and has absolutely nothing to do with the institution to which that individual belongs. I do expect therefore that out of these 850 or participating teachers, there would be at least 10 percent teachers or let us say 85 which is not a small number by any means would be able to contribute to the entire effort by citing their own experiences, by putting across their own kinds of problems that they would like to uh, us to consider for setting up their own method of challenging students and so on. In short, this is a great opportunity for doing an extraordinary collaborative effort in enhancing the quality of education in our engineering education system. And to buttress this collaborative effort, what better subject to consider than the subject of open source. All of you would know that open source software has been predominantly an outcome of large collaborative efforts by a very large number of volunteers across the world. We have all benefited from it, we continue to benefit from it. The only concern that I have, I would say not concern, but a, 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 a nagging shortcoming that I find is that while in our country there are very large number of users of FOSS, we are one of the largest downloaders of software from all across the world sites. The contribution made by Indians to the open source, however, has been drastically limited. You will notice this in the domain of software, you will also notice this in the domain of open source contents. While we all benefit from Wikipedia and the great contents that Wikipedia has, we still do not have adequate knowledge contents. Say for example, school children in India who are studying science subjects, mathematics, other subjects in their native languages, they find that most of the useful contents are unfortunately still in English. We propose to in fact, uh, start conducting a larger nationwide project for addressing that shortcoming as well. Coming back to the present course, ordinarily we conduct workshops in subjects which are considered part of core courses in engineering curriculum across the country. You will notice that many universities in India have not yet adopted the free and open source software related course as a part of their curriculum, except perhaps uh, 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 Anna University Chennai, which has a very large number of uh, courses centered around open source, we and IIT BHU. At IIT Bombay, we have a Senate approved elective in open source and that elective is taught. In fact, uh, the faculty members who will be conducting this workshop themselves have been involved in this. I would think that in coming years, one by one, most universities in the country would be expected to introduce such a course in their regular curriculum. It is in this anticipation that we decided to have one workshop on this important topic. With this introduction, let me welcome my faculty colleagues uh, who will be conducting this workshop. Uh, I do not know how many of you have interacted with them earlier. Certainly, the coordinators from the remote centers who had all come here would have interacted uh, with them. So, Professor Madhu Belur, uh, can you can you focus? And Professor Prabhu Ramchanan. Uh, okay, Prabhu has interacted only through A view. Uh, I would also like to observe that Professor Madhu Bellur comes from Electrical Engineering Department and Professor Prabhu Ramchandran comes from Aerospace Engineering Department. I mention this specifically to emphasize that the, the, the work in open source is not necessarily restricted only to a few from the conventional computer science departments. It is used by all and it is also contributed to by all. Indeed, in IIT Bombay, while we have 
open source adherence in our computer science department faculty. But the greater exponents of open source software, both in terms of contributing and in terms of using, uh, happen to be outside computer science department in IIT Bombay. Two of my colleagues whom you see here are joined by several other people. The most noteworthy of them perhaps is Professor Kannan Maudgalya, who has been trying to, he, he also by the way is a, is a, uh, a co-investigator in this particular project and he is actually the coordinator of all national mission projects of MHRD at IIT Bombay. Uh, he has been conducting workshops on Scilab for example. He has created a very unique mechanism of uh, constructing spoken tutorials, short time tutorials which are actually uh, video slides and spoken words which he has been translating into multiple Indian languages. There are several interesting things that are happening perhaps through this interaction and later through interaction with our site related to this project. Many of you would come to know more about things that are happening here and many of you would be willing to participate in these things. I will conclude by saying that at the end of this workshop, like at the end of all other workshops, we create edited versions of the recorded audio video lectures as also the edited version of all the teaching learning material that has been developed by the faculty colleagues, all the problem sets, all the sample solutions that are created not only by our faculty colleagues and your coordinators at remote centers, but this will also include the contributions made by participating teachers during and after this workshop. And all of this material will be released in open source. This is not something special to this particular workshop which is about open source, but this is a common theme for all our workshops. Sadly, we have not been able to put together the large hardware infrastructure required to set up a single common site through which we could release all of this in a single portal. That work is going on and we hope to finish that by December after which a single portal containing different subject sub portals would be available for active interaction by all thousands of students and teachers across the country through which we expect that over the coming years the contribution in the open source for these subjects at least would increase significantly from the Indian diaspora. I once again welcome all of you to this workshop. Although you will be hassled to travel to your remote center uh, once every weekend and go back again. I assure you that the coordinators have tried to do their best to provide whatever limited facilities they could at their end. But I can assure you that this trouble will be worth it. You will benefit tremendously from this workshop. My only request is that the benefit will be directly proportional to the amount of effort that you yourself put in as is true with any learning teaching process. So, I request you to kindly put all your heart and mind in this workshop, try to gather as much, try to contribute as much, go back empowered and leave the entire community more empowered than the community was before and this includes all of us here as well. All the best, thank you very much.